Hello, I'd like to give a quick review of Quicken 2016. I uh, just got this about a week ago. It just came out about two weeks ago. And what do I think of it so far? Well, it's, to be honest, uh, full disclosure here, I do uh, sell Quicken on my website, topfinancialtools.com. But uh, aside from that, I'd like to give an honest review of this, of what I think so far. Um, to be honest, it's about the same as Quicken 2015. Um, there's really not that big of a change. In fact, when you first install it from the CD, uh, there was no noticeable difference at all from Quicken 2015, other than the name change. Um, but then I found out that uh, I was the CD came with release R1, and there was an update out already, release R2. And after I installed that, I did get some additional features. So the first thing you want to do after you install Quicken is go up here to help, click on About Quicken, and ch double check and make sure you're not still on Release R1. You want to be on at least Release R2, or later, depending on when you watch this. But Release R2 is what brings in the new features. And really the big new feature is an online bill pay synchronization, which you'll find on the Bills tab here, Online Bills. And what this new feature does is it allows you to, just like with uh, bank accounts in the past, the way that you could synchronize them online, well, you can do that with your bills now. So you can enter in uh, whoever you have bills with, uh, Comcast, Geico, um, Cox, those are a few examples, and you can uh, synchronize your bills with their website. Um, here's just a list of some of those. Verizon Wireless, Sprint, American Express. So those are some of the few uh, popular ones. But just like with setting up a credit card or checking account, when you synchronize with these billers, Quicken will pull down the bill amount that you owe and when it's due and automatically add that to your budget, your projected balances, your calendar, and to give you reminders that it's due so that you don't miss a bill. So that's a nice feature. It's, it's good. I like it. Uh, it's nice to have. But really, that's the only new feature of Quicken this year, um, from last year's version. Now, if you have an older version than 2015, of course, you'll get some of the other new features that were added this year, or they were added in 2015. Those will still all be there. Um, Quicken's a, a decent product. Uh, they do have bugs from time to time. Um, but really, is there anything better out there? I, I haven't found anything, so I'm still using Quicken myself. Um, and I recommend it for anyone that seriously wants to track their finances, especially when you have multiple checking, savings, credit card accounts. If you want to track your brokerage accounts, you know, your stocks and bonds and mutual funds and other investments. Uh, if you have a mortgage, car loan, things like that. I don't know how you can track all that stuff without something like Quicken. And from the other software that I've tried, yes, Quicken has its bugs. And yes, we all get frustrated at it from time to time. but it's still the best thing out there, so I recommend it. Um, one thing that I really like about it now, the newer versions, is the uh, the credit monitoring. It will give you your credit score and monitor you and alerts in case uh, someone tries to open an account in your name or something. And I know this works well because when I've applied for a new credit card, for example, I've received alerts through Quicken that hey, somebody something happened to your credit report. Something new is on there, and of course, it was me that did it that time, but I got an alert about it. So you can get a little bit of satisfaction and um, peace of mind because Quicken includes that feature now. So if someone is opening accounts in your name or stealing your identity, at least you get alerts to uh, inform you of that so you can take appropriate action to get that resolved as quickly as possible. Um, other nice things, it's, it updates your accounts for you. It pulls down your checking account, your savings accounts, your credit card accounts, and allows you to keep track of where you're spending your money. So, uh, yeah, Quicken has its bugs, but hey, it's the best thing we've got, so we've got to go with it. Uh, so Quicken 2016 this year comes with three years of uh, transaction downloading and online syncing, so it will work until April of 2019 is, uh, is when it will stop working for syncing up with your online stuff. Um, so I say it's probably worth getting it right away um, so you can take advantage of that full three-year time period. Um, just to go through a few of the tabs here, uh, it looks pretty much the same as Quicken 2015. 
you can see where your money's going. You can see your spending habits over the last 30 days on this main screen. You can see which bills are coming up. It has the spending tab here. You can see what your spending's been like for the last whatever time period you choose, the last 12 months. Um, and I'm using a demonstration account here, so I don't have a lot of transactions, but it's pretty handy to be able to see where you're spending your money. You can see how much you spent on food, how much you spent on transportation, how much you spent on pets, you know, how much you spent on your mortgage and things like that. Uh, the bills, like I already went over, you can synchronize now with your bill payers or with your billers. Um, you get bill reminders so you know when all your bills are due. And it will project out your balances of all your accounts for the next whichever time period you choose, next 30 days, let's say, uh, based on the bills that it knows about and your spending habits. It'll let you know if you uh, if you need to worry about your accounts getting too low, if you need to worry about running out of money. You'll be able to see that here. Uh, you can sit here and go through these planning tabs. It's got savings goals, so you can start uh, saving up for college or for a home, for a car, whatever other big savings goal you might have, vacation, and that's pretty easy to set up. The tax center is nice. It lets you see, based on your situation, how much you're paying in taxes, how much you should be paying, how much uh, you're going to get back on your refund. So you can see that at a glance. The lifetime planner, that's nice to have. You can change some of the options in there. Um, tell it about you, your age, your salary, and everything, how much uh, it takes into account your bills, your your mortgage, your assets, your debts, and it will show you uh, how much money you're going to have in 30 years. You can figure out when you can retire, things like that. The debt reduction, if you've got a lot of credit card debt or a, or a loan you want to get paid off, you can set this up and it will show you over time how much money you owe and you can play with the numbers and say, well, if I increase my monthly payment by 50 bucks, how much sooner am I going to pay off that credit card? things like that. That's a, that's a nice feature and I, I enjoy that one. I like to use that one. It's very helpful. And of course you can set up a budget. You can plan out how much you'd like to spend in each category based on your current spending habits and then tweak those and try to save a little more money or try to make your money go a little further. Um, try to stop eating out so much maybe and, and uh, spend your money on something else or put it in a savings account. And then if you get the business version of Quicken, Quicken Home and Business, which I have here, it's got a business tab that shows you your profits and losses. It's got some nice tools. You can create invoices and estimates. You can track your mileage. Things like that that small business owners or self-employed people might like to use. And then if you uh, add in some stock accounts, brokerage accounts or something, then you'll get another tab up here for your investments. And you'll be able to track all your investments against the S&P 500, against... Uh, You'll see the performance over the year. And every time you open Quicken, it will download the current stock transactions or stock amounts. Uh, so you know exactly how much money you have, how much your, your accounts are worth. Um, so, yeah, I think Quicken's a decent product. Um, there's a lot of people that complain about it, but hey, show me something that's better and, and uh, then we'll talk. But So that's my review of Quicken 2016. It's, it's decent. Like I said, there's not really any changes from the 2015 version other than that new bill pay feature and uh, so if you uh, if you want to extend your download and online synchronization capability for another three years I say upgrade to Quicken 2016 or if you have upgraded to Windows 10 already uh, you might want to upgrade to Quicken 2016 because it's certified to work with Windows 10 so uh, thanks for watching and I hope that was helpful have a nice day